15 seconds of autonomous as the bots. You see do what they do because they're programmed to. As we have the first 15 seconds of the match. Down to one second. The Red Alliance comes out with a 10-point lead as three of the bots moved across the baseline for five points apiece. That's now 5109. Releases 100 fuel elements from the hopper on the side of the field. 5109 now getting into position, trying to score high. It takes three of those fuel elements in that upper efficiency goal scored in order to get one valuable fuel point. Stoking the boiler with pressure as the pressure builds. It transfers over to the steam stack located on the airship. If they can gain 40 points, they will get one valuable ranking point. As they continue to fire and shoot and stoke the boiler, 5109 continues to stoke that boiler high. They're now collecting some more fuel elements as they run across the field. The fuel elements are what they want. They're collecting them. They're gobbling them up as they release onto the field another 100. There goes 64, 71, and 5109. They had a conference and then decided to part ways. 41, 88. They are now pushing the fuel elements down the field as 61, 39. The Thunderbots get into position to collect a valuable gear. Two rotors turning on the Red Alliance, 40 points apiece as they need one more gear to complete the third rotor set for another 40 points. 120 to 59 in favor of the Red Alliance as the Blue Alliance continues to score points in the fuel. Stoking that boiler. 5109 now has a gear in their possession as we're down to under 30 seconds left to go in the match. They're moving down the field. They're trying to get into possession as the ropes have been deployed. The Columbus Space Program, they're going to try to fly high one more time, getting above the airship as they lift themselves up off the ground. They are now in contact with the touchpad, gaining 50 points. That's 5109. Gladiator Robotics comes in contact with the touchpad as well. 3329 gains 50 points for the Alliance. 6470 battling against the clock. They run just a little bit short of time, and the gate closes on them. As time runs out, the ship leaves without them. Match number 41 in the books. Here they go into the clouds one more time. As the Red Alliance crosses the line first with a score, 260 to 149. 4188, the Columbus Space Alliance maintains their rank at number two, while 33-29, the Wild Bots slide into the number 10 ranked position. Turn green before you get out there, Steve. I think they're supposed to be purple. And don't forget, stop by Pit Admin. Make a donation. You'll get a ticket. That ticket will put you in a drawing for that snare drum we saw this morning. A valuable snare drum. Very beautiful. Created just for Georgia First Robotics. As we now want to hear a word from our sponsor, Procter & Gamble. My name is Melvin Fowler. The current role assignment that I hold here at the Albany facility is a quality contact in the finished product handling department. One thing that I really admire about this company is when I was employed here, I got an opportunity to meet a very diverse group of people. We have around 700 some people employed in the Albany plant, but there are other local distributors that are impacted by PNG. I mean, we not only impact those 700, we also impact the people who help us jointly to deliver those products to the community. This job means to me that I'm able